Good afternoon, I'm Riley Knopf. And I'm Miranda Johnson, and this is Wolfpack News for Wednesday, September 17th, 2014. The homecoming dance is October 11th. Any students planning to attend with a guest who is not an OE student must turn in a guest, pa a guest pass to the Dean's Office. Guest passes can be found in the Dean's Office or online and must be turned in by October 1st. No exceptions. The United States Congress has designed this week as Arts and Education Week. During the week, you will see artists, musicians, and actors performing during lunch periods. If you're wearing a fine arts t-shirt or sweatshirt, you will be entered to win a prize. Also, stop by the LRC and correctly guess the pieces of visual art displayed to have your name entered for a chance to win a prize. Interact Club's first meeting is after school Thursday in the staff lounge. If you're interested in community service and getting service hours, then Interact is the club for you. The LRC is waiving all book fees this entire week. The LRC is looking for all their missing books, so please return them to their home. If you wish, pay your book fee from the previous year. It will be 50% off. Mosaic's next meeting is Thursday after school in F231. Anyone wanting to join is welcome to come. There will be a free snack and drink. Aurora East High School is hosting the National Hispanic College Fair on Wednesday, October 1st from 9 to 10.20 a.m. There will be more than 50 colleges and universities represented. Go down to Student Services for more information. The PSAT will be offered here at East on Saturday, October 18th. The PSAT is an optional test. If you'd like to sign up, go to Student Services. The test fee is $20. Row Kappa National Social Studies Honor Society applications are due to Mrs. Kyris or Ms. Davies by today. Don't miss out on buying a Crosstown Challenge shirt for $15. Orders are due no later than Friday. You can place your orders before school this week or during lunch this Wednesday. The first League of United Latin American Citizens meeting is today after school in J107. If you have any questions, see Joe Sanchez or Daisy Oseguera. Girls interested in Powerpuff football for homecoming should pick up a purple or shirt should pick up a purple form outside of Miss Kyrus's room F133. Forms and money are due by next Monday. Boys interested in coaching Powderpuff should send an email to Miss Kyrus at C K Y R I A S at S D three oh eight dot org by Monday. Please include your name and the grade you would like to coach in the email. Seniors with a cumulative GPA of 3.5 or higher are eligible for National Honor Society membership. Download the necessary forms from Mrs. Calvi's website or see Mrs. Calvi in the English Department office with any questions. Teacher re recommendations and the interest inventory are due no later than Friday, October 3rd. Mu, Mu Alpha Th Theta is accepting new members. In order to join, you need to have a math GPA of 3.7 or higher as well as completed Algebra 2 or Algebra 2 honors. If you qualify, pick up an application outside the math office, E380. Applications are due by September 29th. See Ms. Newton for, or Ms. Gossett with questions. Anime Club is meeting this Thursday in room E134. We'll be right back after this message after the Tri-M Music Honor Society fundraiser. Oh, hey there. We're the Tri-M Exec Board, and we're here to talk to you about the coming Tri-M... Bake, Bake Sale! Tri-M is our school's National Music Honor Society. This is National Fine Arts Week, and to celebrate, we're going to... Have a bake sale. <laughs> Thursday and Friday, September 18th and 19th. So come out and support your stomach and the Tri M Music Honor Society. <laughs> Go music. All grade levels are invited to attend college visits through the end of September for Iowa Wesleyan, Ferris State, Yale, U of I, Robert Morris, Marquette, Kent State, and Truman University. See Mrs. Weber in the College and Career Center to sign up. Talk leadership applications are available for pickup and student services. Visit student services with any questions. And now it's time for sports. Here's Brittany. Girls, girls Varsity Volleyball won last night with, the, with three close games against Oswego High School. Outstanding plays were made by Kelly Bertrand, who had 19 kills, and Lauren Schultz, who had 7. Katie Ayers had 22 assists, and Kelly Bertrand aced 
for three points, while Caitlin Kuehl gained the Wolves two. Great job, ladies. The varsity girls tennis team won again last night, winning six of the seven courts against Plainfield Central. The Lady Wolves will remain unbeaten in the conference plays and will be back at at it against crosstown rivals Oswego at home this Thursday. Coach Conrad and Coach Otero and the rest of the te tennis team would also like to congratulate Lena Huang and Le Lexi Blackman, who over the weekend won their 100th varsity match. Congrats to the girls on their big accomplishment. That's the latest in sports. Now back to the anchor desk. And finally, juniors and seniors who want to pursue a degree in the healthcare field can get experience at Dr. Rubin's Mini Medical School in January 2015. If interested, fill out an application in Student Services and turn in by Friday, October 10th. That's today's edition of Wolfpack News. I'm Riley Knopf. And I'm Miranda Johnson. Join us again tomorrow on East TV Channel 16. Thanks for stopping by, Wolves, and have a great day.